the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 253, Ezekiel 33 to 35, Prophets and Watchmen. God, the source of true hope, said, I am your God, to the captives in Babylon who heard the terrible news of Jerusalem's destruction. First point, the atmosphere in the book of Ezekiel changes in chapter 33 with the news of the fall of Jerusalem. After 18 months of waiting, Babylon finally broke into Jerusalem. Now South Judah completely fell. This news reached the people of South Judah who had been taken to Babylon during the first and second round of captivity. At this point, God gave Ezekiel the task of a watchman once again. Before Jerusalem fell, God had given Ezekiel the task and the responsibility of a watchman. Indeed, this showed the hefty responsibility of a prophet. The duties of the watchman Ezekiel was not so much to be responsible for the future of the people, but to deliver God's message and to warn the people of danger. If Ezekiel told the people, but they did not listen, the responsibility was on the people. However, if the watchman did not warn the people, this was the responsibility of the watchman. Ezekiel, who became appointed as God's watchman, now had to deliver the message of God. He also had to tell them God's heart, as the people misunderstood it. The standard of God's judgment was simple. Even if a righteous person sinned, they would die. And if the evil repented, then they would be saved. God declared that whoever repented and turned from their evil ways would be able to live. Second point, when Jerusalem became attacked by Babylon, the people of South Judah, who ignored Ezekiel's message, suddenly came to listen to Ezekiel. During the 12th year since the second group of captives, were taken to Babylon, the Babylonian soldiers attacked Jerusalem. The captives, who were already in Babylon, heard this news. As soon as Ezekiel heard this, he started to deliver God's message to the captives. God told the people that as they did not repent right until the end, they would have to live in Babylon for 70 years. Although the people of South Judah in Babylon had ignored Ezekiel's words beforehand, when this news broke, they came to him. This did not mean that their attitudes had changed. The people in Babylon listened to the words of Ezekiel as a right warning and did not repent. God, however, said that they would listen on the day God's words came true. Third point, God used the metaphor of a shepherd to rebuke the leaders of South Judah. God used the metaphor of a shepherd to rebuke the leaders of South Judah. God had also used the metaphor of the shepherd and the sheep through Jeremiah as well. Later, Jesus also used the metaphor of the false shepherd. First, a false shepherd fed only himself and did not feed the sheep. Second, he only took the fat and the wool of the sheep rather than looking after them. Third, he did not look after the sick or weak sheep. Fourth, he did not go after the lost sheep. Fifth, he governed over the sheep with spite. Because of such a shepherd, the sheep were consumed and attacked by wild beasts. Fourth point, God declared that the scattered people will be restored through the Messiah. God promised as Kiel the salvation of the flock. God was different to the false shepherds. God was interested in the lost sheep, wished to feed them well, made sure they slept well, 
and wanted to heal and strengthen the sick and weak sheep. A shepherd to a sheep is a crucial figure. A sheep cannot be fully protected without a shepherd. God used this metaphor to reveal how due to an irresponsible leader, the people had all become scattered and lost. Because the leaders had failed in their responsibilities, God himself declared that he would be the shepherd for the people of South Judah. The bad sheep would be judged. To the good sheep, God promised to send them the Messiah. God had prepared Jesus Christ for the descendants of David. The Messiah would bring peace and blessing. The Messiah would also protect the people. The Messiah would let the people know that God governs over Israel. The news that Jerusalem had fallen was heart-wrenching news for the people of South Judah who were already in Babylon. They felt like they no longer had hope. At this point, God told them that He was their God. Fifth point, to Edom who helped Babylon strike South Judah, God once again declared judgment. God declared judgment on Edom through Ezekiel. God had spoken of their judgment through Amos and Obadiah. God declared that Edom would perish due to their sins. God outlined all their arrogance and evil doings. Edom could have chosen to act differently after seeing the fall of South Judah and the reason behind their fall. It was a good opportunity for them to turn from their ways and to act differently. God had expected Edom to repent and change. However, Edom rejoiced when South Judah fell and looked only for their profit. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biyongo Zhou has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zhou is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.